Happy Sunday, everybody. So for today's video, we are going to look at surging sparks and we are going to look at everything. We got some bad news that I'm not too happy about. And then we're also going to compare both the Paradise Dragana and the Super Electric Breaker set. We're going to put them next to each other so we can actually see what the whole set kind of feels like. And then we're also going to go through all the recently sold listings for Paradise Dragana. And we got some crazy sales for Super Electric Breaker this weekend. But we do have to get thanks to our video sponsor real quick, and that is presentcards.com. Are you guys bored of having the same binder that everybody else has or the same case? Or do you want to kind of spice up your collection a little bit and display your cards a different way? Then you definitely have to check out Preza. They have a ton of awesome items. You know, they got the regular display cases for your graded cards, but they also have graded card binders. They got a graded card backpack. They have top loader binders. They have a ton of awesome, unique products. So definitely check them out. And then if you use the code Pokebeer to check out, you will receive 10% off your entire order. The links are in the description. But all right, let's get to it. We are going to compare both sets, Supercharged Breaker and Paradise Dragana right next to each other. I'm going to shrink my face cam here so you guys can really see both sets side by side. Now, I've been looking at both of these, and I want to say Paradise Dragana has slightly better illustration rares. Let me know down in the comments what you guys think. So, I mean, almost every art for Paradise Dragana in my opinion, is very, very good. And we got some solid Pokemon. Appleton, Flapple. The people that love those Pokemon are obsessed. We got Bravery here, Skarmory, Vibrava, Latios. I think the cast form is honestly the best art out of all the illustration rares. And I love how you get all the different cast forms. And then you got Execute and stuff. So we'll take a little peek at Supercharged Breaker. I also think the Cerulege is absolutely crazy too. In my opinion, it looks like a special illustration rare. You get to put some texture on there, throw an EX up there, boom, you wouldn't have had to change anything. But yeah, it's so tough to decide which set is actually better. The Magneton, beautiful, but that is the promo, which I'm very, very excited about. You know, I really do enjoy all the arts here. The Feeboss is beautiful, especially it goes with the Milotic. The Fan P, you guys know I love. The Mesprit's very, very beautiful. I actually even like the Slaykoth here which is the one little flower. Kecleon, I used to have a chameleon. Her name was Gamora, so I actually like that card. Honestly, though, the set side by side is looking pretty solid. I'm very curious to see how expensive this Latios illustration rare is going to be. For the Japanese set, it's like five bucks, but I have a feeling it's going to be, if I had to guess, probably $20, $25. I could be wrong, though. So we are looking at the full art Terra cards. I think the Rainbow Borders really, really help these cards out. I think the Hydreigon looks sick. Pikachu looks solid. The Flygon is pretty sweet. Still mad that we didn't get a Flygon special illustration rare. But all right, let's get to the actual special illustration rare so you can see them side by side. Try to get that all neat. So we got the Latias, the Archuladon, the Melodic, the Hydreigon, the Pikachu, the Alolan Executor. We got the Durant, which I feel like people are 50-50 on this Durant. Some people are like, it's an ant. I do love that it connects. I feel like the art isn't super, super beautiful or anything like that or super crazy. So I don't think that's going to be a very, very expensive card. But in my opinion, just having Latias here and the Milotic, enough for me right there. Like, no joke, those two cards, having those as the chases, you know, no crowns if you don't like the crowns, you know, no rainbow borders if you don't like the rainbow borders, just regular special illustration rare EXs. And I think they're both very, very beautiful. I feel like they could be a hair better, but still, compared to what we've got in the Scarlet and Violet era for like these older, more popular Pokemon, I'm so happy because we haven't gotten a ton of special illustration rares for these older type Pokemon. Like, you know, we got Tapu Koko from Paradox Rift, you know, just a few, but I am very, very excited about that. And then too, I got to admit, some of these rainbow cards... Are looking good the alolan executor i really have not seen anybody say they don't like that card i've heard people say that's their chase card people really really love the hydragon and the pikachu is probably the most card that's like 50 50 but you guys are going to be shocked on how expensive this pikachu is in japanese it is very very spendy and i think there's a chance that it's going to be our chase card i think people really really underestimate the pikachu so if i had to guess right now i want to say the pikachu is going to be the chase card for english which will surprise some people i could be wrong 100 percent. this is just a guess and then i'm going to say the latias and then probably the milotic the hydragon the alolan executor and i think the lycia card down here too 
might give people a run for their money. I could see this card actually beating out maybe even Milo Tick or something like that. You never know. I think it's a beautiful special illustration rare, and you will also be shocked at the price of that card. But yeah, there you go. Let's see. For trainers, I feel like the special illustration rares aren't super, super crazy. I do like that there's Altaria in that card, but I feel like the art could have been a hair better. But I don't really collect trainers, so my opinion doesn't really matter. But when you're looking at the actual full set, you really break it down. We're getting four regular special illustration rare EX Pokemon. You know, two of them are very, very popular. The other two are so-so. And then we're getting three Terra special illustration rare Pokemon, which all three of them I'd say are pretty popular with Pikachu being one of the most popular Pokemon on the planet. And then we do have the four special illustration rare trainers, which I feel like are very, very solid. I like how these two kind of have the same art and then these two kind of have the same type of art style. But I do feel like there are better sets. Like we just went through Paradox Rift on Falling Friday and the amount of beautiful special illustration rare trainers in that set is just crazy. And they're all so dirt cheap. Definitely check that video out. And then we will look at the gold cards. You know, we got the Pikachu and the Alolan Executor. I'm a big fan of this Gravity Mountain. I actually like when they do the good scenes like this. I think it's very, very beautiful. Then we got Night Stretcher, Jet Energy, and Counter Gain. But the set is very, very solid. So not next Sunday, but the Sunday after that, I'm going to do another tier list video, and I'm going to rank every single Scarlet and Violet Era set. And we're going to actually look at every single set and compare them and really, really break it down to find the actual best sets. All right, let's check to see what is available for sale. So... We have the Surging Sparks Pokemon Center ETB at the Pokemon Center website, $59.99, still in stock. If you order four, it will come in a case. I definitely, definitely recommend ordering some of those. But all right, let's get to the bad news that I mentioned earlier, the booster box. So the Surging Sparks booster box for pre-order, it's going up in price. So we were able to find this, no joke. I seen it at 100, I seen it at 105, and then I seen it at 110 all day long. Like 110 was the most expensive. Now, 115 is the absolute cheapest that I could find, and it was on eBay. If you guys can find anything cheaper, please put it down below in the comments for everybody else. But, I mean, no joke, websites that were 110 are now 125. So I'm not 100% sure what happened there. I'm going to hit up a few people and see if, you know, maybe they didn't get as many boxes as they thought. Very disappointing. That kind of sucks. Don't panic, you know, if it goes 130, 140. So there is a small chance, you know, this set could go up in price a little bit right away, but we have so many awesome sets coming out soon. And, you know, this is a Pikachu set. You know Pokemon is going to pump this out. I just thought that was super, super crazy. This person already sold 128 on eBay. They have, you know, positive feedback, 99.9%, 9%, 115 or best offer. So when I see that too, that means they're down to play ball. You know, you can do quantity. So you can always message them too and see what they could do for like four or five or a few, whatever you want to do. You might be able to get it for a little bit better deal. But yeah, kind of shocked when I seen some of the prices on some people's stores. But all right, let's check the recently sold listings on eBay. So here's Paradise Dragana. The Latias has been doing very, very well. Very steady. $80 to $100 since release. And right here we got both PSA 10s, the Latios and Latias, for 170 Not bad. Another Latias for 85 We got the Archuladon for 1860 We got the Drayton SAR for 18 We got the other combo, Latios and Latios for 81 That's a good deal. The Alolan Executor going down in price, 2378 Here we got the PSA 10, Lysia's Appeal. $295. This is the most expensive card for the Japanese set. Latias 85, 85. We got all three Alolan Executors, which look very nice next to each other. 4397. We got a Drayton for 14. Here we got a Raw Lysias Appeal for $150. Very expensive card. It was $200. So definitely coming down in price. Looks like you can find this combo, the Latias and Latios. In the Japanese set for 81 bucks. That's not bad. I've seen a few of them now. Anything else? I think that is about it. We got a 195 sale here for the Lysia's Appeal. Ooh, we got a $68 Latias down here. That is pretty cheap. All right. The moment we've all been waiting for. The Super Electric Breaker sales. Let's check them out. All right. Starting off with the Super Ledge here at 1075. And I can't believe I didn't mention this art in the beginning. I think this art is very, very beautiful also. I think most people enjoy these Pokemon too, 
I'm not 100% sure on that. I just really haven't seen too many people say they didn't like the designs or anything like that when the game came out. $10, pretty good price. I mean, no joke. I was looking at Paradise Dragana the day it came out, and Latios was six seven dollars so that's a very very good sign again though i am recording this friday so the set literally just came out definitely check my pokemon market monday and i'm going to go through all these cards again which we'll have a whole weekend of sales to go through magneton 10 bucks let's see those are not the right cards we got the regular pikachu here Terra for 12.98 we got the full art Terra pikachu for 47.98 we got the Jasmine's Gaze for 100 We got the Kecleon for $8. Very good price. See, the Mesprit is already $2.98. That's sad to see. We got another Suru Ledge here at $4.15. We got all three Pikachu cards. All three Terras for $238. The regular Terra Pikachu for $6.81. The full art Terra Pikachu for $17.76. So definitely shop around. Got some regular cards. The Sfeel for $3.23. The Mesprit for $3.05. We got the Palisand Full Art Terra for $5.92. We got the Tatsuguri Full Art Terra for $5.92. We got the Hydreigon Full Art Terra for $12.45. The actual Super Electric Breaker Booster Box for $53. Here's the Feebos here, only $3.80. Wow, disappointing. Steel, $3.80. We got the Mesprit, $2.99. The Vavilion, $2.99. The Surluge for $4.40. $2.99 for the Kecleon. All right, let's get to some high price stuff here. Here we have both Pikachus. Again, the full Artera and the special illustration for 189 Here's the big sale. We got a Pikachu sale for $214. Just a special illustration rare. I mean, so expensive. And then we got the Durant for $14.96. We got the Hydreigon for $89.97. And here's the Milotic, $56.80. I honestly thought the Milotic would be a little more expensive. But yeah, only 55 bucks. The Durant, 15, which I feel like is probably spot on. Looks like you can get the complete Super Electric Breaker Art Rare set of 12 for $28.99. I mean, not too bad if you really think about it. You're paying a little bit over $2 a card. But again, the set just came out. It will definitely get a little bit cheaper. But next, we got the Hydreigon, just a regular Terra for $540. Here we got all three Pikachus for $239. Anything else? The Durant Full Art for $5.92. Magneton for $7.99. Another Pikachu Trio for $2.40. We got the Milotic Full Art for $8.73. That looks like a very, very nice card. But all right, now let's talk about my plan for this set. Now, you know, I'm not rich. I cannot afford cases upon cases. You know, if I was rich, I would get three booster box cases of the set. I would get three Pokemon Center ETB cases. And I'd probably get a case of booster bundles. I'd probably do that for every single set. Maybe even a case of sleeve boosters. Like, no joke, that would be my dream to do that for every single set. But I have so many other collections and I buy so many cards too that, you know, I could not spend all my money on sealed products. Because, like I always say too, I'm a fan first, collector second, investor third. But I really do enjoy collecting booster boxes and ETBs. It's almost as fun as collecting the cards. But not quite. But my plan is I'm going to order a Pokemon Center ETB case, which I already pre-ordered, and I'm going to keep that sealed. And then we're going to order two more Pokemon Center ETBs that I'm going to open up on the channel, hopefully. You know, me and the family are going to actually open it. We might do a separate video. We might put it at the end of Market Monday. I'm not sure yet. Because in my opinion, that is the best thing to open. If you are on a budget, but you want to open something and you want to make sure you're getting a good card, just order yourself one Pokemon Center ETB when this set comes out. You get 11 packs at your chase card, and you're getting two promos, one which will be pretty valuable, almost guaranteed if you really look at all the Pokemon Center ETB promos so far. They are all doing great. So now for the booster boxes. So for all the Scarlet and Violet sets and pretty much any product that I get, I try to get three of everything. You know, it's a little hard for cases, but so for the booster boxes, I'm for sure going to get at least three, and I'm going to probably get maybe closer to four or five down the road. You know, we'll have plenty of time. But yeah, for the sets like Pal Day Evolved and Paradox Rift, some of my favorite sets, you know, I have a little more towards like four or five booster boxes. So I'll probably do the same with Surging Sparks. I'm not in a rush. And then I'm still trying to get all the Pokemon Center ETB cases for all these Scarlet Violet sets. I'm a little behind. So I'm trying to get caught up on that. And if I do, I would love to get one more Pokemon Center ETB case. But... The reason I'm not going super crazy is the next set is an Evolution set. 
And it's a specialty set, so there's no booster boxes. So that means I'm really going to go crazy on Pokemon Center ETBs, and then I for sure want to try to get a case of booster bundles for that set. I think those two products right there are going to be an absolute gold mine. And for that set too, I feel like when it's a set that doesn't have booster boxes, that makes the Pokemon Center ETBs that much better and much more important. So those are the sets too that I really, really want to invest heavy in on the Pokemon Center ETBs. You know, like Paldean Fates, not the best set in the world, but I think it is a very, very solid set and pretty underrated. You know, just imagine if Paldean Fates was absolutely insane. That ETB would be so expensive, which I have a feeling the Evolution set, which I heard is going to be half Evolutions and like half Legendary Pokemon, is probably going to be nuts. So I'm definitely going to be trying to get as many Pokemon Center ETB cases as I can for that set, of course, depending on the cards. And then... For those sets, like I said, that's where I'm definitely going to want to get the booster bundle case also because that's going to be a gold mine for those sets because those are going to be the two most open products for sure. But yeah, we got to be smart, especially when we're on a budget like this and there's so many sets coming in and then we keep getting 151 randomly restocked. So, you know, you're trying to buy some of that and, you know, you just can't get everything. That's why I like to get the for sure Pokemon Center ETBs and then just hold off on the actual booster boxes. You know, we should have plenty of time, multiple ways for those. So yeah, that is my plan. But all right, that was today's video. Let me know down below, like I said before, which set you think is slightly better art-wise, Paradise Raigana or Surging Sparks. Let me know which card you think is going to be the most expensive. And let me know what you guys are planning to pick up. And of course, if you guys like the content, please make sure you subscribe. Hit that notification bell. Leave a like and comment. Leaving a like and comment helps the most. And I comment back to every single person. Might take me a few days, but I will definitely get to you. I usually comment back to people on the weekend. And then... Too. If you guys want to know when 151 comes back in stock or maybe some Pokemon Center ETBs or something like that, definitely follow me on Instagram. I also post when new cards or sets get revealed. And then you can also join my YouTube membership. It's only 99 cents a month if you want to support more. I also post that stuff there. But all right, I want you guys to have a great day. And if you want to watch my last Pokemon Falling Friday, click this video here. Otherwise, we'll see you next time.